finest intellectual minds, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, still trying to recover from this promotion that we just saw. Uh, so overwhelming and a huge body of work. Uh, That's a lot of shots up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, welcome to India, Mr. Thank Spielberg, you. and uh, thank you for being with us today. Um, obviously, this isn't your your very first visit to India, is it? No, I've been here several times before, but n I'm not. This is my. It's been 30 years since I've uh, been back to India. I was mm -hmm. here. The last time was in 1983. Were you making films then? Yes, uh, Temple of Doom, mm -hmm. and uh, I was here on my own, backpacking through the country. Where did you go? But uh, everywhere. Really? Yes, uh, Benares, Calcutta, Delhi, uh, Jodhpur, Jaipur, a lot of places. But I started here in 1977, and I shot a very small scene from my movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind mm -hmm. uh, in a very small town, about three-hour drive outside of Bombay. Um, Mr. Spielberg, you started off um very early in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe as a child you once took an 8mm camera and made your first film with uh, your mother being in the star cast. Yes, yes, I did. What inspired you to do that? Well, I think I, <clears throat> well for one thing, the first time I picked up a movie camera um, was because I was wrecking my electric trains when I was about 12 years old. I was crashing the two trains into each other and making a complete mess and sometimes the trains would break and my dad would have to take them back to the electric train store to get them fixed and he told me if I ever broke my trains again he would take the entire set away and we had an 8 millimeter Kodak movie camera and I remember coming home from school one day and setting up a couple of shots and I photographed the trains crashing and luckily the trains didn't break but I had it on film I got one train going left to right, then inside the camera I stopped, I put the camera on the other train, keeping the screen direction right, the other train going right to left, and I set the camera down, uh, uh, shooting straight out at the track, and both trains came together and crashed. Thought of directing a Bond film? I tried to direct a Bond film, and Cubby Broccoli wouldn't hire me. <laughs> you know, I, I went to Cubby, and I called him up on the phone, and I just said, I had done a couple of movies, I had just started out, I had actually done um, Jaws, and it was a big hit, and I thought, well, that'll convince him that I can direct a Bond picture. And I got him on the telephone, and I said, I really would love to do your next Bond picture. And he said, you're not experienced enough. <laughs> You've been um, making films um, at a time when there have been many contemporaries of yours, uh, Coppola. George um, Lucas. George Lucas. Scorsese. Uh, Brian Le Palma. Right, Marty Scorsese. Martin yeah. Scorsese. Mm -hmm. Did you ever uh, build relationships with them to discuss the future of cinema, or what you were doing, mm -hmm. or was there envy in what the other person was doing? Yes, there's always envy. Envy is a good thing. You, you, you can't rise to any great height without not just envy, but, but it's because it, envy might be the wrong word. It's more jealousy <laughs> and ambition and wanting to do better than those guys. And they all felt that way. We all felt that way about each other. But in, in trying to inspire each other and outdo each other, we worked together and collaborated with each other. What are your expectations from this? I mean, what are you looking forward to the most? I need to be properly exposed to, it, to the current cinema here in India and I need to really be able to do more homework, so to speak. Learn who all the filmmakers are and start, try to search for uh, multiple genres. Mr. Bachchan, what was your experience um, with this in conversation with Steven Spielberg? Um, much the same as uh, this wonderful audience here. Um, very invigorating, very frank, very open, and as uh, Mr. Ambani said, a lot of candor and uh, um, he felt very comfortable, that's uh, always uh, a wonderful feeling.